clinical case. 65-year-old man presents with severe dyspnea or exertion, fatigue and significant peripheral edema. His physical exam is notable for jugular venous dilation, uh, distension, GVD, huh? No, no, jugular venous distension and q small sign, a paradox rising, GVP with inspiration. So an echocardiogram is performed with uh, which shows normal left ventricle wall thickness and normal ejection fraction of 60%, but markedly enlarged atria. These findings are more characteristic of which type of cardiomyopathy, my beloved, all mentioned above is, of course, restrictive cardiomyopathy, cardiomyopathy restrictive one. So the question, the question is designed to test the ability to recognize the hallmark features of diastolic heart failure, which is the central problem in restrictive cardiomyopathy. So this is the correct answer, restrictive myopathy. The key to the diagnosis is the profound disconnect between the patient's severe heart failure symptoms and their normally systolic ejection fraction, 60%. So what is pathophysiology? In these types of cardiomyopathy, the primary problem is not a weak contraction, but a stiff, non-compliant ventricular wall. We will talk about that by the grace of God. So the, the ventricle cannot relax and feel properly during the diastole. Uh, the, this cause pressure to back up into the atria, leading to the massive enlargement and then to the pulmonary and systemic, systemic venous systems. So clinical clues. We've got a system, uh, symptoms, signs of severe right and left-sided heart failure. Dyspnea, edema, GVD. Huh? A Kussmaul sign. This is a classic sign of impaired right ventricle feeling, normally, normally GVP, JVP, sorry, JVP. JVP falls into inspiration as the Chinese, as the chest, as the chest expands and draws blood into the heart. In right, uh, in uh, restrictive cardiomyopathy, the stiff right ventricle cannot accommodate this increased venous return, so the pressure backs up into jugular veins, causing them to distend. So what do we see on echo? On echocardiogram, the smoking gun is the combination of preserved ejection fraction with bilateral, biatrial, biatrial enlargement. This shows that the pump is strong, but the chambers are too stiff to feel, causing the atria to balloon under the high blood pressure. High yield take way. When you see a patient with severe heart failure symptoms but a normal ejection fraction on echocardiogram, you must think of diastolic dysfunction. The combination of preserved ejection fraction, atrial enlargement and signs of severe venous congestion like Kussmaul sign is the classic picture of restrictive cardiomyopathy.